All right, maybe you're getting ready to take your morning vitamins and fish oil is so popular as a supplement. It accounts for $2 billion in sales globally each year. But a new study in the Journal of America of the American Medical Association is sending shockwaves through fish oil believers. New this morning, John Shumway is here to explain. Yeah, a lot of people really, really believe in this. They uh -huh. take it for everything, eye health, weight loss, um, maintaining your brain power, healthy skin, and on and on and on. But this new study on whether it helps to prevent heart issues may knock fish oil off its pedestal. A very high dose of a very powerful fish oil, very effective fish oil, uh, didn't produce any reduction in the risk of heart attack, stroke, or death. Cardiologist Dr. Stephen Nissen from the Cleveland Clinic says this worldwide study in 600 locations in 20 countries used prescription strength fish oil and produced this red flag. In patients treated with the fish oil product, there was a 69% higher risk of atrial fibrillation. So there's actually some harms associated with, with taking the fish oil. It's also important for the public. Um, because people believe that fish oil is beneficial. I think we need to take a very close look and perhaps we've headed down the wrong path. Dr. Nissen says it's important to keep in mind that the fish oil you buy over the counter is far less potent than what was used in the study. It's really kind of a wake-up call when you see a study like this where the most potent prescription-grade fish oil didn't have any favorable effects. It certainly doesn't suggest that over-the-counter fish oil is something that should be widely consumed. Yeah, Dr. Nissen says that the FDA needs to take a look at this, study it, and perhaps rethink the position, Heather, on fish oil. So is the doctor suggesting everyone should just stop taking fish oil? You know, if your body is used to taking something, it's never a good recommendation to just cold turkey stop yeah. taking it. So the recommendation is talk to your doctor about this. This idea that it could cause issues with the heart is certainly a point for conversation with your doctor. Okay, a good one to have. Thanks so much, John, for bringing it up this morning.